You know, I got to ask you, there's been a lot of, uh, for anybody that follows Don the Dragon's Facebook page, uh, Don the Dragon is in like a, a feud with uh, Frank Dukes. Now, I don't have any questions about Frank Dukes. I have a question about a movie. I love the movie. The movie is called, of course, Bloodsport, made in 1988. Uh, it was one of Jean Claude's, I think it was his very first starring role because he'd done No Retreat, No Surrender, and Black Eagle before. But uh, Frank Dukes wrote this movie, and it's about the, the Kumite, the underground fighting arena of death. Now, I'm not going to ask you, as a two-part question, your first part, as a movie, what did you think of Bloodsport? Personally, as a movie, I love it. All the different styles of martial arts. I'm a huge fan of it. What do you think of it as a movie? Just, just movie-wise, watching it for entertainment with your popcorn. Well, it had a great scenario where they brought in all these different type of fighters and they put them together. That's a great sequence. It's a Dirty Dozen, Samurai Seven. I mean, that's that formula works all the time. I love that formula. It's one of my favorite formulas on film. So they have all these different fighters fighting John Van Damme, Claude Van Damme. Guess what? He was great in that film. I was so impressed. You know, there's talk sometimes, did he really win a tournament? Who cares if he won a tournament in France? All I know is he has great technique. He's so good looking. He's muscular from Belgium or whatever he was called. And all of us as athletes, all of us as martial artists, we were all envious going, I wish I looked like that. I wish I kicked like that. You know, I just thought he was just fantastic in the movie. I thought the movie was really good. It didn't matter from a theatrical standpoint if it was real or not. It was only at the end when they roll the credits where they give it credit that this really happened. And then you kind of sit back going, did it really? You know, then you have to ask that question. But movie wise, great question. I loved it. I thought uh, John uh, Claude Van Damme's performance was fantastic. As good as, as anything I've ever seen. And I, and I, you don't have to question why he's a star. Watch him in that film. You know, and it's just pure entertainment. In pure entertainment, you, you, you like the character. If you liked the film but not the character, you wouldn't care for the film as much. But you liked him and you liked all the fight, you know, sequences he had and the different kind of personalities he had to fight. I loved all of it. Now, the second part, what's the second part of the question? Second part of the question is, now, I, I, I was younger when I saw it. And, uh, you know, it's supposed to be a true story. I'm going to ask you that. But I'm going to tell you, as a young man, very young man. When I saw this and I saw Donald Gibb and he got hurt by Bullion and then he's and then Van Damme's out for revenge in the final fight. It's a movie trope. So I was like, how is this a true story? I, I could have told you the minute he met him that this guy was going to get hurt. Van Damme's going to swear revenge. He's going to win. And then much like you said, Frank Dukes holds the world records. If it's an illegal underground tournament, why would you keep records? That's like keeping track for the police <laughs> to find you. So right. as a true story oh, now, right. what did you think? Well, I'm a fighter. So first of all, I fought on a Saturday and I fought and won grand championship. I got on a plane up from, from Georgia. It was a big tournament. I won grand championship. I got on a plane. I flew that night to Los Angeles. I stayed at my friend's house, Steve Fisher, and I fought in that tournament and I fought 17 fights in two days. And mine were points. Mine weren't full contact. And I was worn out. And I'm a distance runner in college. So when somebody says they had all these full contact fights all in one day, and I don't know what, 60, 80, or whatever it was, I know better because I'm a fighter. I fought 17 times in two days. And you won't even find anybody that's done that. And, and that's spreading points. So for somebody that says, oh, yeah, I fought, I fought all these death matches or all these fights, I, I'm very skeptical. Now, can anything happen? Yeah, there's aliens I hear, and there might be, but I don't know Frank Dukes. I've spoken with him before. I, I have a lot of respect for her. She's wonderful. I really don't know him personally, but I have a lot of respect for best fighters in the history of martial arts. Now, we still got Chuck Norris, Joe Lewis, Bill Wallace, a lot of people, but they didn't fight. All of them together didn't have the records of uh, Benny Urquidez and Don Wilson. So I consider those two the best of all. Time. And Don Wilson, when he tells me, when he's having a hard time believing the credibility of this, you know, I tend to believe with Don. But personally, I I 
I'm a very positive person. I'm not trying to piss on anybody. I just want to stay in my own lane and do something positive in my life. Um, but there, I've said it. 